Hello, my name's Grace and I'm a careers advisor and school events coordinator here at um, LEBC, also known as Leicestershire Education Business Company. Um, I have been with LEBC now for over three years and I'm also on the Chartered Management Degree Apprenticeship Programme in partnership with um, De Montfort University, where I'm studying for a business management degree alongside working full time. I chose the degree apprenticeship um, pathway after I studied my A-levels because I've always been ready to go to work and I wanted to carve a career for myself from a young age. So I decided whilst I was studying for my A-levels to look at university, but also to look at the degree apprenticeship programme as well. Um, once I'd found the degree apprenticeship programme, I knew that that's exactly what I wanted to do because it gave me the opportunity to get a degree and further my education alongside get getting three years work experience, which I found really important because by the time I'm around 21, 22, um, I would have had that three years, which I actually have already. And I still have a year left on my degree. So by the time I graduate, I will have four years work experience. For me, the application process involved um, going for some help and support at LEBC really, because at the beginning, I didn't really know what I wanted to do a degree apprenticeship in. I just really liked the idea of them. And I did business at A-level and really enjoyed it. So I felt that maybe a business degree apprenticeship would have been the right pathway for me, but I just wanted that little bit of extra backup and support. So I went to LEBC for some um, CV guidance and a bit of careers guidance really. Um, and they actually invited me to interview. So I did have a formal interview as part of the degree apprenticeship process where um, I met with two of the managers at LEBC and we went through um, everything about myself really. They asked me questions around my skills, which is a really, really important part of working um, in, the, in the line of work that I have, um, but also really important for any jobs because skills are transferable. So I have actually had jobs since I was 15. I worked in a hair salon, I worked in retail and all of those transferable transferable skills such as communication and teamwork and customer service all came together and formed part of that interview in order for me to get onto the degree apprenticeship programme. Um, I would definitely recommend any young person look, finding a part-time job for themselves whilst they're studying for either GCSEs, A-levels, their BTEC or even at university because it really really does help with getting employment in the future. When applying for a degree apprenticeship, I would personally consider commitment. Um, it is a massive commitment to take on a degree apprenticeship because you do have a full-time job as well as a full degree. Um, it's not just a half degree or equivalent to a couple of years, it is a full degree. Um, so it can be quite time consuming. Um, and that's something that I've definitely learned over the past few years, um, studying an uh, a degree as alongside working full time. Um, there is a lot to do. So I definitely consider um, the, the commitment that you have to the job and to the degree um, and getting yourself organised. That's a massive thing. One key skill that I use every single day, whether it's in my studies or whether it's at work, is organisation because I have to keep my diary up to date. I have to know when I'm going to university. I have to know when my assignments are due in and when I plan to do them. Um, so commitment and organisation is something that I definitely consider. I'd also consider how long you want to be with that business. Um, some businesses do tie you in um, once you've finished the degree um, because obviously they put that time and effort into supporting you throughout your degree apprenticeship and the skills and knowledge that you'll gain from that. So they'd quite like to have you to work for them for the future really. Um, so again, that's something to definitely consider. Um, and also, if you don't want to be with a business for a long time, then maybe the degree apprenticeship isn't for you because a lot of the things that you learn about and you do as you progress through your job and the degree, it's all based around that sector and the sort of thing that you're doing. But again, it is very transferable. So that business management degree or whatever degree that you choose to do, whether that's engineering or cyber security, you can take elsewhere and take the experience and knowledge um, to other businesses. Studying for my degree is really exciting, really. And um, to know that I work full time and do a full time degree is, is quite exciting. Um, like I mentioned before, it is very time consuming. Um, that is one thing I have found and sort of planning it around your social life and your family life. Um, is really important but to do it at the age I started my degree at the age of 19 and to be finished by the time I'm 21 with a lot of work experience um, 
is a huge thing for me. Um, but it is really exciting, all of the different things that you get to learn, um, because obviously I have my role within the business, but there'll be modules throughout the business degree, such as finance um, and marketing and things that I don't necessarily do on a daily basis, all come into part of that degree. So it's really interesting to be able to learn about different aspects of the business um, for the module that you're learning about at that moment in time. So that's really interesting. I've been able to explore things that I might not have been able to if I was just um, studying for a different qualification. Um, so yeah, that's really interesting and exciting. I also find it quite inspiring because you are working with different people from different businesses on a degree apprenticeship. So when we go to university, we meet all different people from different businesses around the UK. So there's some huge businesses, there's some public sector, private sector. Um, some people work for the NHS. Um, so things like that is really inspiring for me to be able to learn about how they work in their businesses and the different opportunities that they have as well. Um, and we're all doing the degree together. So that's really interesting. Um, and the fact that we all get to learn each other's different opinions, because obviously a big business is very different to a small business. So you get to find out how they work and how they would sort of apply the knowledge that we're learning into their jobs as well. So I find that quite inspiring. Uh, my roles at LEBC are a careers advisor and a school events coordinator, which includes a whole host of different things. So um, in the school events job, I take volunteers into school, into the classroom to help young people pre prepare for the world of work. So that is things like mock, mock interviews, um, what's my job, um, running careers workshops and careers talks, all to give students knowledge and insight into the different career paths that they can take in the future. Um, this is a very busy job. It includes teamwork. Um, myself and the team work really hard um, to work together to put these events together. Um, communication, speaking with the students, speaking with our volunteers, speaking with different members of our business as well to see if they know anybody who would like to come along, but also for them to support with us as well. And it also includes lots of organisation and planning skills. Um, obviously, taking 30 volunteers into a school, getting them all there on time, making sure that they're all clued up for what they're doing is quite a big job. So they're some main skills that I use in that job. And then I'm also a careers advisor. I deliver one-to-one -one appointments with students in schools, um, talking all about their futures and whether they want to go to university in the future, perhaps whether they want to go into employment, apprenticeships, um, and we help them choose the right pathway for them. Um, it's completely impartial, so we get to talk about a lot of different things, um, but it's to help them make sure that they're doing the right things for their futures. In my uh, first two years at LEBC, I feel like I developed massively personally and professionally. Um, when I first started here, um, I'd just finished my A-levels, I was 18, and I hadn't really worked in an office before. Um, like I mentioned, I'd worked in retail, um, so I'd, I'd been very much customer focused. So um, that was a really good thing that helped me um, when starting within the business. But professionally, um, I think I've come on a long way. Knowing how to speak to business professionals, go into networking meetings is something that I'd never been able to do um, when I first signed um, my contract here at LEBC. So that's been a huge thing professionally but also personally I've been able to do so many new things my confidence has grown massively um, I can now do assemblies in front of students um, with no worry at all really and um, the hall could be full of year 10s and 11s and I'd literally have no issues um, I've run workshops in schools um, employability workshops with year 12s and 13s helping them prepare for the degree apprenticeships and higher level employment um, all of those things I'd never been able to do um, when I first joined LEBC. So in the first two years, I definitely came on a long way. I started off in administration um, and worked my way up um, to now eventually be the school co events coordinator and careers advisor. Um, so yeah, a lot has changed in the first two years. Um, it's been really exciting um, to be able to learn all the new things, get all of the new opportunities, work with different teams and different members of staff here in the office, but also with external um, customers as well. And working with students as well is really rewarding and really exciting on a daily basis.